Hello everybody, Megazardex here, back at it again to give y'all another very exciting video, and for here, right in front of me, it, it goes without saying, I got my hands on none other than the Fire Emblem 30th Anniversary Edition. I would, man, there's a story to tell behind getting this sucker. I literally, I think I remember being on the computer trying to get on Best Buy's website for almost an hour and a half to try to make this order go through because this sucker, you know, <laughs> there ain't a lot of stock on this thing. And it was, it was really hard for me to get my hands up on, on it though. But with me being a big Fire Emblem fan, I knew I had to get my hands up on it though. So, oh, the package finally arrived. And I said, you know what? As much trouble as it took for me to go through this, I might as well do an unboxing though. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive up into this though. <laughs> All right, so starting on the very outside of the box, you got none other than the Fire Emblem branding right there, though, Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light. And the thing I really like behind this is it has the Japanese um, name for it right behind it. I don't know, it kind of gets it like a little nice little accent pop right there. So I really do like that. Got all the pixel art right around there, the big 30th anniversary right there. And then the interesting thing is if you look here on the sides, you will notice that, you know, that, that little text right there, it kind of seems familiar, but then you look on the side of it, it's the bottom of it. So that says fire. And then if you flip it onto the other side, notice the letters on the top, or at least half of them. And then the stuff on the bottom, emblem. So they got fire emblem on the side of the edges of the box. So that's something I really do like about the, the box as well though. You can see out here on the bottom though, you know, just kind of telling you some stuff about the game and whatnot though. Not too much to kind of go over, hypo over. And then the stuff on the front of the box though. But the most interesting thing was the side. And then clearly the stuff on the front of the box right there, though. Get my big old greasy hands over there, though. Man, I'm going to have to wipe this sucker down when I'm done with it, though. But that's pretty much it in terms of the stuff on the outside of the box. And then let's go ahead and dive straight up into the inside of the box. All right, so let's go ahead and crack the seal over here. Try to, I have to go ahead and crack it to begin with, though, because with my um, Game & Watch one, that was a little hard kind of cutting and trying to hold the camera you know, all at the same time though, like that. So I'm like, okay, let me let me get ahead of the game here real quick. Just go ahead and slide this sucker on out of here though. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Okay, I think I did it a little upside down though, but maybe I can savage it. There we go. All right, so here, so got two di main different things. We got that, we got the book, and I think some more stuff underneath there though. So, uh, hmm, the way how I'm gonna tackle this though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the book aside. We're going to work it this way around first. I'm going to focus on this first, though. All right, so right here in front of me, you had the Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, and the Blade of Light box right here, which I think, honestly, oh, shoot. You know, I will say this. The whole entire package itself was actually some very heft, has some heft to it, like some very heavy weight up on it. I think it was about five pounds or so, but you can see right here, you know, the, the front of the box like this. I think this is roughly what the box would have looked like if it came, you know, back in the day on the NES. This is roughly what it looked like. No, you can kind of see the side of the box right there. The top of the box right there. So yeah, you can pretty much see all those edges and stuff right there. You get to see the back of it. Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light. And you can see the description of the game right there. Got a little bit of English right there and different language right there though. So honestly, some really cool stuff. Get to see some of the art right there on the right. Some really interesting stuff right there. But let's go ahead and crack the inside of this sucker and see what else did they manage to put in the inside of this box. Ooh, 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 wee, man. Okay, there's more stuff in the box though, but oh shoot, I gotta start with this. I got my hands on it though. This is the clear casing of a original Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light NES cartridge. This almost feels like a trophy. Um, goodness, it just feels like a trophy cartridge. Like, it just feels so good to feel. Oh my gosh. I, this this feeling is a little bit hard to describe right here though. I, I just really like this so much. This is, oh my gosh, this is a really good limited edition from right from the start. Oh my goodness gracious, this is this is outstanding right here. Like I, I don't even know how Nintendo did this. Oh shoot, that that just kind of sets the whole entire tone right there. My goodness. And then there's even more stuff up in the box. Like gosh dang Nintendo, like they went all out on this. Like. You got the Nintendo sleeve right here. So technically, you know, back in the day, how they did this stuff, the sleeve went up inside of there. 
boom, it would have held your cartridge like that in the back in the day. Gosh, the thing Nintendo actually would have like one of these sleeves to where, you know, <laughs> they'd be releasing a sleeve of this for old NES cartridge. Now, you know, new version of it <laughs> in 2020, the year of 2020. That's crazy right there. I'm going to set that right there. And then this is none other than the Fire Emblem, you know, the full game download. You know, you'll have all of this stuff up on there, though, uh, right there. Oh, thank goodness that was scratch off, though. Even if it did show the code right there, I was going to use it before you always even had the chance to even, you know, try to attempt to get your hands up on it, though. But the game is on the eShop. It roughly costs about $6.99. So yeah, so that's just basically what the what the game capture, or not the game capture, but this is basically what the code would have came on. It would have came on that sleeve right there. Oh goodness. And then we got a little bit of some a bit more art right here though. Let's we'll start right here. So this is basically the map of the whole entire game right here. Man, that's man, I wish I had a little more space to work with though. I had to get a big red table just to showcase all of this stuff off. Because I knew there was a lot that came up in it though, but you can see the continent of Arcania right here. And it just shows the different locations that are throughout the game, though. So, man, good gracious. And I'll just let y'all kind of all kind of take all of that in up there, though. But that, that's just a lot of stuff. That's just a lot of stuff. I really do like this because, you know, back in the day with some of these older games, it was sort of kind of hard to picture everything unless you had some physical goods that came up in here, though. And then, obviously, you can see the different classes um, of different enemies or as well as, you know, probably different allies that you might have had up in the game, though. Shoot, it even tells you the HP. And, oh my gosh, it even shows the stats of these different characters. Oh, shoot. You know what? This is some very cool stuff right here, though. And then, obviously, they got one over here in the bottom right corner. I think I'm not, or it, it shows a question mark, though. I think that's probably the final boss right there, though. So they didn't want to give, you know, too much away on the stats of that, though. But that's honestly really cool right there. Very nice touch to this limited edition. This is by far, oh my gosh, this is just crazy. And then also, you have one more thing right here. Oh, and this is basically like the game manual, like what you would have got back in the day with your cartridge. So, you know, oh gosh, even has the NES controller, like how to use this controller, the D-pad, start select, A, B buttons, starting with the game and everything like that. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is this is a lot of detail for an NES game that got localized. I, I I'm just flabbergasted right now. Like this is a ton of stuff. I'm trying to flip through it real quick, just kind of show y'all, you know, what's kind of up in. Oh wait, let me go back to that page here real quick. Thought I saw some characters. There we go. So you get to see Martha over here. You get to see Kata, Kane, Abel, and Jagan. If I pronounce all of those right. And then you get to see all of the, oh my gosh, I got to, mm, wires. This man from Fire Emblem Heroes, I pulled this man too many times to tell. I just knew this dude before I even had, when I saw that picture, I didn't even have to look at the name. I already knew who that man was though. But then go ahead and get a little closer shot of my boy Mark and my girl Kato over here though. But some really cool stuff right here though. And then just flipping through the book a little bit more. Just to kind of see, you know, what else is... Oh, and I think it's basically the same stuff, but in different languages at this point, though. So that's basically all it... So this is basically the game manual. So really nice stuff here. Oh, shoot. And I think that's basically all that came within this one box right here, though. So I'm going to go ahead and set all this stuff off to the side over here. All right, so starting with the second part of this thing. Okay, here we go. Ooh, we got the Nintendo Power poster now this was you know nintendo power is mainly a big thing back in the day with the nes and the super nintendo and we get to see a little bit of artwork of what could have been if this game were to release you know way back when during the nes era though so you get to see marked up here you get to see the top of that i like how it has a tactical grid in the background you know how like units move from one space to the other though with that pixel art in the background though so really nice so classic art right here pixel art in the background really nice touches right there though and then you get a little bit more information right there. Classified, you know, top secret sound test, stuff like that. And you get that official Nintendo seal of quality right there, though. So, honestly, some really cool stuff with this poster. Really nice. I'm just starting to think, this is a ton of stuff in this collection. I'm thinking, how the heck do I display all of this stuff? This is a ton of stuff. And then there's even some stuff on the back. So, you got the poster on the front. But then you got some stuff on the back here, too. You got Counselor's Corner. So should I recruit? So basically, this kind of gives you tips about the game, about, you know, recruitment. It's like, you know how you recruit other characters, you know, throughout your game and stuff, you know. And then this was a game with permadeath, so 
you gotta be actively recruiting because you never know when one of your characters are gonna die and then you know obviously you can't bring them back no more however with this version of the game since you know they localized and stuff and gave it a little bit of you know modern stuff to it there is a rewind feature though so it's not as brutal as what it would have been back in the day though and you get to see up here and stuff i'll try to get a little closer that way you're able to read some of this stuff oh well, <laughs> that was a different language though but this is all the stuff in english though but you know what? i might as well go ahead and show the other side though it's basically the same thing but in a different language for some of y'all that might want to look at all of that though but honestly some really cool stuff over here so you get all of this little tips and tricks up there on the back and then get the obviously the big nintendo power poster right there though so honestly some really cool stuff with that though and then we only got one more thing left to showcase off within this limited edition and that is none other than the art book itself now this oh shoot this sucker feels pretty beefy i ain't gonna lie pretty pretty beefy right here though and then i'm just gonna lay that right here though well we'll go ahead and look at the side of this though the legacy of arcania Ooh. then obviously you know all the rest of that is just kind of side stuff well, i'm just might as well show it and then the back you know it's just kind of solid black nothing really special right there though but we'll go ahead and open this book up to see what Ooh. Now, right off the bat i love that detail with the dragon right here though I do love myself some dragons though, so just opening it up right here, nice little touch right there though. Man, I, I, I kid you not, Fire Emblem has some of the coolest limited editions ever. And then even here, oh my gosh. This, oh, I, I gotta zoom in on this right here. I gotta zoom in on this. This is basically what the Famicom version would have looked like if you know if you were to see you know the og version from back in the day like you can even tell from the detail on the box right there like how it's kind of scratched up and stuff like this is probably some pictures of like an original version so you have that the instruction booklet that would have been right there and then even the the cartridge itself from back in the day though so really nice stuff right there though and goodness and then you get some of the other art and stuff See, I got, I got, to, I got to zoom in on some of this information. Like, like, good gracious, this is the detail that they went through to put in this limited edition. It really does feel a, like a 30th anniversary thing. Like, they have all of these neat, oh my goodness, neat little details up on. Man, this is worth every penny of this fifty-dollar book, or not fifty-dollar book, but the fifty-dollar limited edition. Man, oh my gosh, that is crazy. Like, I can almost make a whole separate video just. You know, showcasing off all the pages and stuff inside this book, like, like my goodness, like whole freaking shoot. Like it even talks about like the war. Oh my gosh! No, 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 no! Oh my gosh! This shows the timeline of everything within Fire Emblem itself. Like you had the War of Liberation up there, the Holy Kingdom of Arcanus. Oh my goodness, it, it just goes through everything. Like, I can't even. Man, I can hardly even talk right now. I'm just trying to go through all of this stuff, though. But, man, if, if you're a big old Fire Emblem fan, you're going to be able to go through all of these different timelines and stuff and be able to put everything up together. You might have to pause the video during some of this stuff because this is a lot to take into. Like, War of Shadows, the War of Heroes. I'm like, they have every little detail up in this sucker. Oh, shoot. Man, even when I'm done with this video, I'm going to go back over here and appreciate this stuff a little bit more. Like, the detail... Oh, my... Nintendo. Nintendo. I, 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 gotta, I gotta be real with y'all, Nintendo. Nintendo, you absolutely did a wonderful, 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 wonderful job on this. This feels more like an anniversary within this, this one limited edition. This one limited edition. And I would say... Out of all the stuff that Mario 35th had done. Granted, that was spread a lot more games and stuff. But this, this collection right here though. Oh shoot. Like this is, this is insane. This is insane right here. I don't even know if I've seen a lot of people go ahead and unbox this. Or at, or at least by the time this video drops. You know, how many different people have managed to go through and kind of show y'all some of this different stuff though. Like, it's crazy the amount of stuff that's been going on in here. My gosh, dang. And then, uh, of course, I can't show y'all everything, though, but I might just be able to flash through here, though, just show a little bit more pages and stuff, get to see the artwork of, you know, different regions and stuff. But, good night. But the detail in this, though, like, whole freaking shoot. Oh, more, more of that character art just here. 
Man, I, I, I just might. You know what? You know what? I'm, I'm just going to go silent for a moment and just let y'all all take this in. I might have some Fire Emblem music playing in the background, though, but I'm just going to let y'all enjoy this as much as I you know, possibly can here. So go ahead and enjoy this real quick. And without further ado, you always got to end it with Anna. You know, in every single Fire Emblem game, she makes an appearance. And of course, even in the limited edition stuff. And that's basically all that was in this art book. I wasn't able to show every single page. But I did try to show as much as I possibly could. Um, just trying to showcase y'all exactly what all was up in this thing. Like, this is a lot of stuff. And you know, I was just kind of going through it at least with a moderate pace of mind though. But 
That's a lot of stuff up in this one book. My gosh, dang. All right, so, whoo wee Oh man, that, that was a lot of content up in that art book alone. Whole oh, shoot. So yeah, that's about everything that was up inside of this limited edition. Just going through and looking at all of this stuff again, like, oh my gosh, like, this is the most stuff I've ever gotten out of a limited edition in quite some time. This is crazy. There, the book, there, and then the box that it all came back out of. So I'm just like, gosh, dang. Ooh, man, that, that, that's just a ton of content that you're able to get within this Fire Emblem 30th anniversary, though. So, man, Nintendo, y'all y'all truly outdig yourself, though. So I'm going to go ahead and put the box right here, though. But that is basically all the stuff that is in this boxing for Fire Emblem's 30th anniversary for Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light. So I hope y'all really enjoyed this, though. And if you were able to get your hands on this, though, I know you're going to appreciate all this stuff up in it. If not, maybe keep your eye out. Maybe there might be a hope for you to get all of this stuff, though. But man, man, oh, man, oh, man. That hour and a half that I put to try to get this limited edition, it definitely paid off, though. But that's basically all I have to say about this, you know, unboxing, though. So if you really like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and that bell to stay up to date on all things, you know, video game related. I feel like discussing, y'all. So remember, y'all, until whatever video I make next, see y'all.